So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create the project folder. And it's very important to create the project folder in a location where it's easy for you to access. So I'm going to create the project folder in my desktop. So in my desktop here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create here a new folder. I'm going to create a new folder and then I'm going to name it. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it project. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. And then what you need to do is that you need to drag this folder and drop it on Visual Studio Code and it will be open. So once the project is opened in Visual Studio Code, as you can see, now we can start working with this project. Now we can start adding files and uh, folders and structure our project. So the first step that we need to do is that we need to run a couple of commands. So here in my project, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on View and then Terminal and this is going to open up a built-in terminal where it's going to allow me to run commands here inside Visual Studio Code. So I don't have to open up the external uh, terminal that comes with my operating system. And instead, I can, uh, I can use this and it's going to do the same ex exact job. So here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type the following. I'm going to say here, npm, npm and then install and then hit enter and as you can see this is going to create the package uh, JSON the second thing that we need to do is that we need to say npm let me hear clear first and then I'm going to say npm and then I'm going to say init init npm init minus y and then hit enter and this is going to create the uh, the package JSON. As you can see, the package JSON has been created. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to install Express. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to run the uh, I'm going to run the following command in order to install uh, Express. I'm going to say npm and then install install. Let me run this in a new. I'm going to say I'm going to clear first, and then I'm going to say npm install and then save and then express express and then hit enter and this is going to start installing express we also need to install the EJS so I'm going to say npm install EJS so this is going to allow me, and then I'm going to say save. This is going to allow me to pass data to the HTML. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then this is going to start installing EJS. And then the last thing that I'm going to install is the uh, request in case we want to use it. So I'm going to say npm install and then save and then request and then hit enter and this is going to start again installing the request and now we are good to go after installing this on the left side you will find that now we have a folder called node modules which includes any module or any library that has been installed such as the express that I have just installed so now we are good to go now we have all the packages and modules that we need in order to start working on our project